Welcome, Welcome to Count 299. I'm Sean Bradley. I'm Koji. Today we've got a very interesting episode of Count 299. We're going to be talking about Joshi Pro Wrestling. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, Joshi is Japanese for girl. So just girl wrestling, female wrestling. We're going to be looking into the history of Joshi Pro Wrestling, what the most influential companies were, most influential wrestlers were during those periods as well, and Koji is going to try and piece it all together because there's so many companies and it's such a rich history of, of wrestling. Okay, so we'll start with who were the most influential wrestlers from previous generations going as far back as 1970 mm. something yeah yeah mm-hmm. uh, and we'll try and work our way up to modern day 2017 koji who would you say are the most influential wrestlers mm. from back in the day で、え、タグチームえ、wrestlers to kind of just throw at you <laughs> but those are what we thought were the key players in Joshi Pro Wrestling. Most most people are familiar with Asia Kong because Asia Kong did uh, some time in WWE as well I think like mid, mid 90s which really brought a new audience to female Japanese pro wrestling. The same can be said for Bull Nakano as well obviously Again, WWE period in that time too. But there, there were some wrestlers who never made it to kind of American audiences, and that's the point of today to kind of just give you these names so that you can kind of research and find out more about them yourself. The next part, Koji did a lot of research, looking into the history of which companies were the founders of Joshi Pro Wrestling in Japan, and how those companies kind of disbanded and broke away into smaller companies and smaller federations and how key players from those federations went off to do other kind of promotions and other things as well. え、オルジャパンso Koji, what what were some of the other federations that came from 
All Japan. So we had All Japan, and then what were the, the main companies to break away from that? So, this is the way that All Japan is a very good thing. Gaia Japan is a very good thing. Gaia Japan is a very good thing. Gaia Japan is a very good t h i まあ、今の、えー、スターダムも、えー、全日本女子に高橋七重選手がいましたので、えー、みんなそういう形で、えー、分かれて新しい団体ができてきているという形ですね、はいうん、でまたその下に例えばガイアジャパンであればガイアジャパンから、えー、里村芽衣子選手が育って今の仙台ガールズであったりとか、えー、アルシオンから、えー JD からウェーブができたりとかあとまあスターダムもそうかなとか、うんえー、オズアカデミーも、えー、全日本女子と JWP からできたりとかそういった形で枝分かれしながら、えー、いろんな団体が、えー、ひっついてまた再び、えー、合体していろいろな今の団体になっているということですね。うん there, there biggest one in my opinion be Gaia. Because with Gaia Girls, there was a BBC documentary、uh, around 2000 that really made me notice women's pro wrestling. At that time, like around 2000, WWE and all the American companies were going for this kind of fake blonde hair,、uh, bra and panties matches, that very kind of overly sexualized kind of just trash. Wrestling almost. So, seeing a documentary like Gaia Girls, where you see this kind of run down, like dojo, high impact kind of、uh, wrestling from these really gritty girls, was like, wow, what, what is this? You know, it was a real eye opener. If you can, I highly recommend you hunt it down.、Uh, Gaia Girls, it's a documentary around 2000 produced by the BBC. Be warned, it is quite graphic. Meiko Satomura. Really, really goes to town on some of these trainees. I remember one point in the documentary, she throws、uh, one of the trainees off the ropes and she gets kind of angry because the trainee isn't giving 100%. So Satomura says, You know, what the hell? What's that, what's that drop kick? You know, what are you playing at? If you keep messing around like this, you will get hurt in the ring.、Uh, Satomura shows her how to do a drop kick, grabs her, throws her off the ropes, and then bang! Hits her underneath the chin with a drop kick and she's just bleeding like all down here from her jaw. And Satomura is just not happy with her performance.、Uh, but then, as Koji said as well, from those companies, you know, around 99, 2000, they branched off into the things that we know today, like Stardom, Oz, Wave, Osaka Pro, Sendai Girls, like Mako Satomura as well. So, yeah, it's interesting to see how. These big companies branch down into these smaller companies and kind of they bring in a new wave of new talent. Obviously, we've given you a lot of companies, a lot of names、uh, in there as well. And what Koji has done, he has handpicked three of his top recommended matches featuring some of these wrestlers that we've mentioned. So, what is your first recommended match? Okay.、Um... 日本の女子プロレスを語る上では、えー、外せない試合がいくつかあります、えー、まず一つ目は、えー、長与千草、えー、選手 VS、えー、ダンプ松本選手、えー、とこの試合は、えー、敗者髪切りマッチですね、えー、負けた選手が髪を切らないといけないっていう女子の中では、えーすごくまあインパクトのある試合ですね、うんえー、なので、えー、この試合は、えー、かなり日本でも、えー、話題と、えー、なりましたしインパクトが、えー、残っている試合になります、うん What's your second match? えー、2つ目に取り上げたいのは、えー、ブルナカノ選手 VS アジャーコング選手ですね、えー、この試合は金網町と。うんうんうん、いうことで、まあ、刑事マッチですね、うんうんえー、これも、えー、女子プロレスの中ではかなり珍しい戦いでですね、えー、すごく女子プロレスにはない、えー、すごくハードな<笑>、えー、試合、えー、そして、えー、衝撃のフィニッシュ、えー、が
あるので、うんえー、ぜひこれはチェックしていただきたい試合になります。うんうんうん There is a great finish to that match, so you need to check it out.、Uh, but we won't tell you what it is. You have to go and see it for yourselves. Okay, and your third and final recommended match. Hi, the third is Hokuto Akira Senshu vs. Kandori Shinobu Senshu. This match is the first time I've ever seen the match. It's a very g o o うんまあ、ストリートマッチというか、うんうん、すごいあのハードな、えー、試合です最近では、えー、ヨシコ VS アクトの試合が、うんえー、すごく、まあ、デンジャラス、うんえー、インパクトのある試合で、えー、話題になりましたが、うんえー、それ以上に、えー、北斗 VS カンドリは、えー、すごくハードな、えー、試合なのでぜひこちらもチェックしていただきたい試合ですね。Yeah, if you like those kind of more realistic, hard impact,、uh, strong style matches, then、uh, yeah, you need, you need to watch this match. The next part, we decided to choose our favorite wrestlers, and it was originally a kind of top three, but we changed it to a kind of four because <laughs> it was so difficult to choose just so few. Female pro wrestlers. For me, I chose Io Shirai as my number one.、Uh, Io Shirai, there are no words to describe her other than athlete. She just embodies everything that female pro wrestling is. She, she's not afraid to take a loss to push younger talent. She's like a mentor, me and Stardom. She obviously forms the Queen's Quest faction with Azumi, Hazuki, and Momo. Really pushing that young talent. Io Shirai is without a doubt probably one of the best, not just female, I, I'd say best wrestlers in the world. She is something else. My, my second wrestler, Asuka. Now,、uh, Asuka obviously used to wrestle under the name of Kana from Osaka as well. She's an, a proud Osaka Jin. I was lucky enough to catch her final match in Osaka with, I think it was with Pro Wave. Was her last match. Obviously, she went to WWE and NXT where she had the longest undefeated reign in, well, all of WWE now, right? Because she surpassed Goldberg as well. Koji, who did you choose for your wrestlers? I chose to pick up Satomura Meiko. Satomura is a very good wrestler. He is a very good wrestler. He is a very g では横綱と言われている選手の一人で、えーまあ、すごくストロングスタイルの選手ですね、うんうん、力すごく力強い選手です、うん、そしてあと一人挙げるなら、えー、高橋七重選手ですね高橋七重選手も、えー、プロレス界の横綱と呼ばれる一人の選手で、えー、この選手もすごくストロングスタイル、うんなのでえー、この2人に勝てる選手が出てくればその選手はスターに、うん、次のスターになるかなっていう可能性が、えー、あります、えー、実際この2人に勝ってる選手は白井選手だったりしますねそして次の世代ネクストジェネレーションでいくと、えー、橋本千尋選手ですね、えー、橋本選手は里村選手の団体の選手で、うんえー、実際里村選手もにも勝ってますので、えー、この先すごく、ね、将来が期待できる選手の一人であります OK so the next part that we're going to do is the wrestler of the month obviously every month we choose a wrestler that's had the biggest impact So, Koji, who is your wrestler of the month? Hi, I was a wrestler of the month. 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 まあ、トヨタ選手らしい、えー、試合だったのですが、えーまあ、すごく長い、えー、現役生活でしたし、えー、トヨタ選手に影響を受けた選手もものすごく多い、えー、トヨタ選手の技
、えー、オリジナルの技を引き継いだ選手も、えー、すごく多くてですね、えー、日本の女子プロレス界に、えー、歴史を作った、えー、選手、えー、なので、えー、今月選ばせていただきました。Seeing Manami Toyota retire, she had a final match with how many was it 50? Maybe 52? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About 50, 52 opponents all kind of rushing into the ring, like just one minute, okay, pin, one, two, three, okay, out, next. And it was just constant. And to see like a woman of her, her age do something like that is just incredible, absolutely amazing. My choice for Wrestle of the Month this month is Kagetsu. Kagetsu is an unstoppable beast. <laughs> the first time I saw Kagetsu was maybe two years ago, I think. She was wrestling for Rihanna and she was going against Konami, I think. And they had a really hard hitting, strong style match, which really made me notice her. And then from there, I always saw her kind of popping up in other promotions like Oz Academy with Kaho Kobayashi、uh, um, forming their like, tag team and so on. So when she started to appear in stardom、uh, as a heel, that was really different and kind of interesting to watch. And then over the, the months, she kind of built more of a personality. Then、uh, obviously becoming more involved with Oedo Tai and forming this. Absolutely amazing faction. She is the, the charisma of that faction, and she's an absolute workhorse as well. She puts in so much effort. I mean, anytime I go to one of the shows and I'll watch her match and everything, it'll be like a 20 minute, 30 minute match, and then she'll be the first person tearing down the ring. She'll be the, the first one kind of packing everything away. She'll be the first one at the merch tables as well. So, Kagetsu is an absolute workhorse. And to see her recently signed with Stardom, I imagine that's going to mean big things for her. So I can easily see her going on to win the World of Stardom Championship、uh, in the future, without a doubt. So hopefully, we haven't、uh, gone on too much about Joshi Pro Wrestling. I know it's a lot of information to take in. Thank you, everyone, for the support as well from Reddit, from Twitter. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for the kind comments.、Uh, thank you to people who have submitted the subtitles as well for other languages. That's Amazing because that means that we can reach wider audiences as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos and more content from us in the future. And obviously, if you are in Osaka, please come to Count 299.、Uh, you can talk to Koji about wrestling all night long, drink some beer, and watch wrestling here at the bar. See you next time on Count 1, 2, 3.